Hello everyone, I'm Cody with Industrial Injection. And, uh, we're going to talk about fuel injector, specifically a common rail injector. This is a Crin 1 injector. Um, the one you see laid out on the table actually fits a 5.9 liter Dodge. Um, this same style injector, we call it Crin 1, that fits an 03 to 04 Dodge. There's also an application for an 04 and a half to 07 Dodge. Uh, we're going to break this injector down. We're going to show you each component of the injector and uh, what the, f the function of the injector is and why it fails. So. Today is an episode of Industrial Injection's technical video, uh, specifically a 5.9 liter common rail injector. This same type of injector uh, configuration, the Crin 1, it fits uh, anywhere from 03 to 07 Dodge is what you're looking at live here. Um, we're going to go into each component and uh, let you know kind of you know what we're seeing for failures you know the, there's a lot of different parts that fell in, in in this injector and we're going to tell you exactly what it is that fails kind of why it fell so we'll dive right into it so kind of going from top to bottom is the complete assembly this is the disassembled injector uh, we'll start at the top you know first of all you have your your solenoid here the solenoids have a lot of different types of failures, but uh, you know, electrical tests, insulation tests. A lot of people will own these injectors, and you know, th they'll call us and say, "Hey, this injector ohms fine." Well, when we get it here and we do a diagnosis on it, just because it ohms good doesn't mean the injector's good. We test the insulation on solenoids and find that a lot of these solenoids go bad, either because of insulation breakdown, electrical failures, uh, erosion in the solenoid itself. So, yeah, that's a big component that goes bad in these. Uh, we, we, we ensure our buyers that you do get a great solenoid on every injector you buy here. Um, kind of going down the list here, um, this is the next piece that we see a lot of failures in. It's called the armature valve of the injector. Armature valves are kind of a, a tricky thing here because it's an assembly. Um, and unless you break this down to its core, and look at the the uh, the stem here, the armature valve itself. There's a lot of scoring problems that happen in this valve, and has a lot of erosion, stiction, scoring. And if that happens, this valve will cause a lot of problems in the firing sequence of the injector. At a time, um, com contribution rate failures, white smoke at idle, that type of scenario. So. It's a big portion of what we do here is we tear this valve down and we inspect it to its core. We put new valves in every one of our new injectors to ensure that this valve is not causing any stiction problems. Um, going down into the, into, into the injector body itself, uh, there are a lot of failures with the bodies. Hairline cracks, we see a lot of hairline cracks right at this fuel port area. Also, in the there's a barrel seal in here that causes a lot of erosion and by high pressure bypass fuel. There's, if this has erosion, any pick scratch marks from a, a, a prior rebuilder, remanufacturer, well, that's your problem. So we do inspect these under microscopes and uh, we do quality checks on the actual body of the injector. Um, through the body of the injector, you have what we call the most important part of the injector is the control plunger. The control plunger it's a two-piece part, and uh, we have uh, a lot of problems with this valve. We get scoring. We get scoring on this actual valve itself. Right, right in this top area is usually where we see the, the failure starting. Any type of scoring, bad fuel conditions, uh, cause friction and delay timing issues with the movement of this plunger. Every time the solenoid fires, this plunger has to move in and out of that bore just as fast as the, the solenoid fire. So we're talking milliseconds here. So you can imagine this tight tolerance plunger body assembly, if there's any type of friction, debris, water, low lubricity fuels, or lack thereof fuel, you're gonna get uh, wear on this plunger. And once that starts, your injector's gonna fire out of time. Also, if you, if you can zoom in right on this little check ball. We circled it, it's microscopic. It's, uh, it's not microscopic, but it's very small. It's hard to handle, and it has, plays such a crucial role in this control plunger assembly. 
If you look at the top of this uh, control plunger, you have this little tapered metal seat area. That seat area is crucial for this injector to fire. It has to seal every time the solenoid fires. And when the solenoid fires, it actually lifts that ball, allowing movement for your control plunger to lift, which there in turn lets your nozzle unseat, inject in high pressure fuel, which is charged through the port of this injector right at the nozzle, atomizing fuel for the fine holes in the tip of this nozzle. You can't even see them really with your naked eye, but I assure you there's anywhere from five to eight holes in this nozzle, and that's where you get your atomization from. If that check ball doesn't reseat, you get high return conditions, hard starts, uh, smoking conditions, um, emission, ex excess emissions, and the injector fires out of time. So that is probably the most crucial part of the injector is the check ball seat in the plunger operation. Um, the last piece is the nozzle itself. You know, these nozzles come from Bosch DLC coated. DLC coating is, it's an anti-friction agent, diamond like carbon coating. It uh, ensures that this, this, the panel of the nozzle is always smooth and it's, it's riding up and down this nozzle bore uh, without getting stuck or having those types of friction issues as well. At the very tip of the nozzle panel, that's the seat. That's what closes off the fuel into, into this nozzle tip. It, you know, that, that controls the on and off of the, of the injection event. It shuts the fuel off or it opens up allowing fuel to be injected through the nozzle tip. Well, we see a lot of times, you know, especially with debris or high mileage conditions, there's a nozzle seat right in the tip of this nozzle that once, it, you know, if it's obstructed, or there's a piece of debris that gets between the nozzle panel and the seat itself, well, it doesn't shut off anymore. So you're going to get fuel slobbering into the cylinder when it's not supposed to. That leads to a lot of problems, you know, could even cause, uh, you know, piston meltdowns, uh, cracked pistons, or just an annoying uh, emissions, white smoke, heavy black smoke type of issues to where this, this needs to shut off every time. It needs to open in time as well. All these moving parts move at a rate as fast as milliseconds as far as this solenoid opening and closing. So you can see that this, every part has to work in time. So it's important that clean fuel, the right amount of uh, volume, clean volume, is uh, supplied to the injector and the fuel is clean so it doesn't damage any of these moving parts then they all have to move in sequence for an injector to inject properly. Fast systems guys, we use fast systems because we believe in them, we've been using them for years. They're, they're the flagship of fuel systems on the market. Fast systems with dual filters separates air, water, and uh, it's fine filtration. This will help save your systems. Also our new Max MPG uh, fuel additives, we formulated that because we know the internal components in the injector needs it so desperately to, to operate and function properly. So there you have it guys, that's the layout of the injectors. Uh, those are some of the parts that fell and some reasons why. Once again, I'm Cody Williams, I run the fuel shop here at Industrial Injection. If you like this video, please make sure to watch our other related videos. If, you, if you're looking to purchase this product, we have a lot of dealers across the nation that are ready to help. Uh, you can also visit our website, industrialinjection.com. And uh, until then, see you next time.